Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new video. So before we proceed further, I would like to take a moment to wish you all a very happy new year and a prosperous new year ahead. So I strongly wish and hope all of you conquer all your goals, set a milestone for yourself and come up with new resolutions this year and with blessings of God and your parents, you accomplish all of them, right? So let us proceed further with this question. So today's question is array paired some divisibility problem and this is a medium level problem. And let us go to the question now. So given an array of integers nums and a number k, write a function that returns true if given array can be divided into pairs such that sum of every pair is divisible by k. Okay. So your main task is to make sure like whether you can, you know, uh, divide this particular elements into pairs. So pairs in the sense each pair will only have a uh, only have two elements, right? So if you can divide them into two elements, two elements, two elements, so that the sum of each two elements, like sum of two elements in each pair will be divisible by k, the given k, right? This is the task that has been given to you. And if you are able to do it, then return true or return false. That's it. You need not output the pairs. Okay. You just need to return whether you can do it or not. And similarly, uh, example two and example one, we'll see that in brief and time complexity is O of n, space complexity is O of n. This is what they are expecting from us and this is the most optimal one possible, I guess, according to my knowledge and we are working on the similar line, solutions on the similar lines, okay? So these are the constraints. The company tags are Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, etc. Amazon, Directy and the topic tags are hash, STL, data structures. So it's been uh, three to four days like they are asking the questions on maps itself. So I also recognize this because today's problem can also be solved by maps, right? So now let us, uh, you know, go through the question so this is the example given so why is the output true here if we can carefully observe we can divide like put 9 and 3 into one pair so that 9 plus 3 equal to 12 and 12 is exactly divisible by 6 right and what about the other two 5 and 7 so 5 plus 7 is actually equal to 12 and this is also divisible by 6 right so this is also divisible by 6 so both of these can be put into one pair and 9 3 can be put into one pair right so i hope you people have understood this so every element have been covered every element is a part of some or the other pair so finally we written true just because of this reason okay so <clears throat> how are we going to frame this approach for this all right so before we proceed further it's important that we clear the definition of we have a good idea about the definition of reminder so what is a reminder reminder okay reminder what is a reminder let us assume i'm taking eight okay and i'm taking seven so i say that reminder of eight when divided by seven is actually equal to one so reminder of 8 when divided by 7 is actually equal to 1. So what do I mean by that? So what do I mean by this is 8 is ahead of 7, ahead of 7 by 1, right? 8 is ahead of 7 by 1, isn't it? 8 is ahead of, by, ahead of 7 by 1. And let us assume I am taking another number 6. What is the reminder of 6 when divided by 7? It is 6. What can I say with this? 6 is behind 7, behind 7, sorry, 6 is <clears throat> ahead of ahead of 0 by 6 or I can also say that 6 is behind behind 7 by 1 right I can say both of them so let us leave this definition okay let us leave this definition for only focus on ahead so why did we take 7 here and why did we take 0 here first multiple of 7 is 0 isn't it 7 into 0 equal to 0 so this is the first multiple and after that first multiple, 6 is the number that comes before the first multiple of 7, right? Sorry, second multiple of 7. 7 into 0 equal to 7. We all remember 7's table, right? We only start with 1. But 7 into 0 is also there. So 7 into 1 equal to 7. Uh, so this is 0, right? 7 into 0 equal to 0. 7 into 1 equal to 7. This is first multiple. This is second multiple. So 6 comes in between here, right? 6 it comes in between here. So 6 said ahead of 0 by 6 right this 6 is the first multiple of 7 this is the second multiple of 7 so we all, if we are working on only first multiple we can say that 6 is ahead of 0 by 6 and 8 is ahead of 7 by 1 because after this what is the other multiple 7 into 2 equal to 14 so in between here 8 lies right in between here uh, 6 lies in between here 8 lies so i can say 8 is 1 ahead of 7 1 ahead of 7 because 7 is the uh, other multiple that is in the range like 8 is in the range of this multiple and this multiple okay so we'll be working on only those ranges so if i put this in simple terms if i put this in simple terms reminder gives you an amount by which a number exceeds the multiple of a given number okay a number reminder gives you a number by which a particular number exceeds the multiples of a given number okay so if 
we try to solve this particular question okay if we try to solve this particular question uh, let us enter a particular world okay let us enter a particular world of numbers um, so i'll put it in a story manner so that you people will understand let us assume you are you are given a task and you have entered the world of numbers and the boss of this okay the world boss of this world is k okay k, k now there are many numbers lying in this world okay there are many numbers lying in this world your task is to marry two numbers okay this number or this number this number or this number this number and this number you need to marry them okay you, you can just uh, marry these two numbers any two numbers but what is the condition of marrying you need to make sure the numbers that you are taking for consideration in, for marrying with each other the sum must be divisible by k exactly divisible by k so if it's exactly divisible by k what would be the remainder in that case zero so let Let us assume you have taken a number eight. So eight is lying in this particular world. Okay, eight is lying in this particular world. What is the remainder of eight when divided by seven? So in this case, our k equal to seven. So seven is the world uh, boss of these numbers, right? So if you just write the multiples of seven on a number line, zero, seven, fourteen, and like this, it goes on, right? So eight is here. Eight is here. So what can I understand when eight is here? Eight is one. Unit ahead of seven, okay. One unit ahead of seven. Now to find a partner for eight, okay. To find a life partner for eight, you need to you need to find such a partner whose remainder can help eight reach fourteen, okay. You need to find a partner partner whose remainder whose remainder can help, okay. Can help eight reach. 14 because it can never reach 7 so leave about 7 what is the next multiple that it can go so that it is exactly divisible 14 so how much units more it needed 6 right so it has already crossed a uh, one unit so how much it still uh, uh, it can still in need 6 so if you can find a partner whose remainder okay so here only remainders can be contributed here one has been contributed by 8 so one is the remainder of 8 so you need to look out for a partner who can contribute 6 as the remainder so so that 8 can use that 6 and 8 plus uh, that particular remainder will come to 14 and which is exactly divisible by k i mean 7 right which is exactly divisible by 7 so what could be that number be 6 right 6 so if you can just marry these both okay if you can just marry be these both what would be the sum 14 and is exactly divisible by 7 right so i hope you people have understood so if you have got a number whose remainder is x okay whose remainder is x so you can look a partner for it okay you can look up life partner or a person you number who, who with can share his life is or her life with it so that number remainder must be k minus x right that's a simple logic simple logic simple fund i hope you have understood this so here in this case eight remainder is one so look out for that number who is going to contribute a remainder of 6 so that 8 can use that 6 and reach 14 right so that's the only thing so i hope you people have understood the basic thing this is the most optimal you know approach to solve this question very easy also very uh, basic common sense itself right so if you are uh, you know good at definition of remainder you can easily solve this question so i hope you have understood but how are we going to find that particular 6 how are you going to find that particular six for that reason we have a matrimony website okay we have a matrimony website matrimony website let us assume first eight has come on to the matrimony we have listed eight on the matrimony his character is something very good character very good decent portfolio and is in lookout is in lookout is looking out for a remainder of six okay is looking out for a partner who is going to give a remainder of six now six is about to enter matrimony okay six is about to enter matrimony and you will check and she he or she leave about the gender okay i don't know <laughs> about the gender so six reminder says six six will be saying i'll be giving a reminder of six i'll be giving a reminder of six now eight is already looking out for reminder six and six saw that eight is looking out for six so they both will marry okay so a small heart symbol in red color you can draw uh, so you can just marry these two so marrying in the sense you need not add six in the matrimony anymore you can just remove eight because you you are going to marry eight and six right so you are a broker here you are going to marry eight and Six. So you need not add six into the matrimony side. You just remove eight from the uh, matrimony. So similarly, various others will also be there. If they you found anyone, you can just marry both. Like if you are like, having some number x and y, if they match this condition, you can just marry both. That means before adding y to the matrimony, instead of adding y to the matrimony, remove x from the matrimony. That's 
said they both that means they both are getting married right so similar at the end of the day if there is no one in the matrimony website that means everything is covered okay everything is covered so it will be a loss for matrimony because no more uh, marriage is going to happen but for us it's happy because we have made the marriage successfully okay we are the brokers here we need not worry about the matrimony website so i hope you people have understood this so both of them will be getting married so you need to see that so if you already found a partner who is actually requiring that particular reminder remove him from the matrimony if else if there's no one like that then you can add that particular new member into the matrimony so in this case our matrimony is our map okay the matrimony is our map and that is the reason i told you this week questions are like this today's question can also be solved by map i hope you people understood this matrimony thing is map and this is the logic that we are working on okay logic that we are working on the same thing i put in the code the same thing i hope you people have understood this so if you can go here first condition is to check if the nums dot size is actually divisible by uh, two or not because we are working dividing into pairs so that means e even length must be there okay even length must be there if else that you cannot divide into pairs right because each pair will have two elements how can you divide if you have uh, nine elements in total so you'll be getting one only four pairs and one element will be left so that's not correct you'll be taking a map so this is the matrimony website so uh, okay this is the oh my god uh, okay uh, okay matrimony matrimony website okay this is the matrimony website and now you are going to each and every number in the system that has been given this is the world nums is the world of numbers you are taking the reminder of that number and you are checking in the matrimony okay check the matrimony check the matrimony if you have that particular you know requirement so k minus y uh, denotes that particular uh, you know thing so and i am modulo k just to make sure we are not going into the negative side of the reminders okay so this is a, a good uh, you know uh, <coughs> that good practice to write that so k minus y modulo k if you can find that in your matter money already so just remove that fellow so in in this case if we can see so in 8 and 6 case we have already for a half 8 in the matrimony is looking out for a reminder of 6 so instead of adding 6 to the matrimony remove 8 from the matrimony that is the thing that you can do so that's the reason we have subtracted a. if if found a match if found a match if we do not found a match then add to the matrimony okay so because no one's in the matrimony so i need to list out myself i need to show off myself so that someone can see so add to the matrimony okay add to the add to the matrimony so this is the thing okay uh, i hope you understood this and finally if your mat this is to check if matrimony is empty okay if matrimony is empty how do you check so the same thing so for not uh, because you are you know subtracting this uh, thing map of each and every uh, thing you are subtracting so finally it must be zero every elements uh, frequency must be zero I mean second uh, uh, value must be zero every uh, key value pair right so every elements value must be zero so if that it's not the case if you found some element who hasn't got a match yet so that means you'll be having some positive number or negative number whatever it is so in the positive only not negative so in that case you can return false or else you can return true i hope you people have understood right so So in this example only, let us assume there are two eights. Okay, there are two eights. For one eight, you have got six. But what for another eight? You need to also work on this, right? But there is no number that is giving you a reminder of six. Then this fellow will be having one. Initially, eight frequency two because in the matrimony there are two eights. Once you found six, you'll be subtracting one. So the finally you'll be having one eight. But for this one eight, you haven't found any partner. So this fellow will be having a positive value. I hope you people have understood. So this is the case. You'll be returning false, right? Or it should be returning true. That's it. So I've taken. a you know very good example matrimony stuff it's very interesting i know if people will be watching these type of things very interestingly so that's the reason i've taken such type of examples right so but it's also understanding at the same point right please don't blame me <laughs> on that okay so that's it guys for today uh, and also i would like to mention uh, codes in c++ java python are there in the description go through them and also i've created a whatsapp channel for you people if you are looking out for some off campus placement and internship opportunities or interview preparation stuff whatever it is so i'm posting it on a daily basis so you can consider joining the whatsapp channel and also please refer it to your friends if you found it useful and you know valuable right so that's it for today so enjoy your day uh, new year so this is a great moment to start your you know fresh uh, year keep motivated today so do not get into some depressing moments or something like that it's a friendly advice from my side keep yourself excited for today right so that's it guys thank you for watching stay tuned